So I've been getting a bunch of requests for a uh, Kristen Stewart look from Twilight and this one is from the 2009 MTV uh, Music Awards. It's a pretty requested look so I'm finally going to go ahead and do it. So you can watch my video on how to prime your face and get your basic foundation done. And then it depends if you guys like using the paint pot, some people love it, some people don't. You can just conceal as well too with whatever you like. So um, I'm going to put a little bit of primer on and this basically just goes all over the lid. And if you do use this, um, you can use Soft Ochre or Painterly, which is their two nude colors. And uh, Painterly is just a little more pink, and Soft Ochre is just a little more yellow. Um, I kind of lean toward the Soft Ochre because I have um, my skin just go color goes a little better with that. If you're a little more yellow or golden, you're going to want to use that. If you're a little more pinky undertone, then use the Painterly. Um, she's a lot paler, but it doesn't matter. Your eye makeup, a lot of people ask, does it matter if you're more tan or more pale? Should you change your color? And it doesn't matter what you, the shade of your skin is. Your eye color it has really nothing to do with that, actually. <laughs> so unless you don't like dark eyes, whether you don't like it, you're not going to like it on fair skin or if you're more tan. <laughs> so either one will work out well for you guys there. So basically what we're going to start off with is um, we're going to powder our face. And because that's going to make sure that if you have eye makeup fall underneath your eyes, it's not going to smudge it or smear it all over. So we're going to do that under the eyes. Trying to do, I just do it basically in the areas that are shiny. Unless you're going for a photo shoot look, then you want to powder everywhere really well. So I'm just going to kind of do a fast dusting all over. Okay. So now we have that underway. We're going to start with a light wash of color all over the eye mainly under the brow bone because hers is pretty light. And if you go to my blog, I'll show you the picture um, I'm actually duplicating in my blog. I just can't show it on YouTube because they don't like that. So we're going to take our fluffy brush and we're just going to spread this color all over. Where is my favorite one? So I'm going to use um, any kind of nude color. This is like a blank type or brulee, any nude sheer color like that that matches your own skin tone. And we're just going to start and work it up all the way so we're just doing a light washing to get a little bit of color down. Then her look, if you'll notice, I'm looking at her picture to make sure I keep recreating it. Um, she has a pretty warm brown color that goes above the eyelid. So I'm going to take this as soft brown. Any kind of warm reddish brown is going to work. And I'm just going to go from the crease and I'm going to just gently move it back and forth and then move it up that way. So the crease, I'm going to go all the way to the front of this crease. So you're going all the way fully. Sometimes I just do this outer corner. But for her look, it's all the way over and up. And I'm going to do a little more red. This is Corduroy from MAC. It's kind of a really pretty red brown. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to work this right into the crease too. And just depending on how much red is in your skin tone, you can determine how to do that. Let me zoom in so you guys can see a little better. I'm still forgetting to do that. I'll get the hang of it one of these days. Okay, so now we're zoomed in. And now you can see this red brown a little bit better. And I'm just going to go into the crease. And go up here and shade it right up here. And then out here as well. So shade in here. And out there as well. It's going to kind of create like a really deep set smoky eye. Um, you can also, another option is to use a more kind of bronzy color. This is a Faux Fox from Bare Minerals. And we'll put just a little touch of that. It's pretty red, as you can see. So I like to get it right out of the cap. And then I'm just going to go into that same area where we just did. And this is going to be a really kind of, not gothic, but just a really kind of smoky, deep set eye. So once we've shaded all the upper part, now we're going to go down to the bottom, which is the fun part. And we're going to take a couple colors. This is like a red sparkly color. from It's called Smut from um, MAC. And I'm also going to take Night Divine, which is this kind of blue, steely, shimmery color. And I had another favorite one. Where did it go? We can, if we're feeling like we want to go really red, I'm going to show you a couple other options too. Uh, I need to label these guys differently. This is Deep Damson from MAC. It might be a pro color. So any deep kind of wine color like that. And then this is Blackberry, which is pretty too. We can use that. 
and another red brown. This is ground brown. That's a really pretty brown too. We might use a little bit of ground brown too. You can use any of these. You don't have to use all these layers that I'm doing, but just so you guys can see a couple options. The ground brown is pretty much one of my favorites. Now I'm going to take this deep damson, which is kind of like an eggplanty color, and I'm just going to smash my fluffy brush down and just go into the go right above onto the brown bone like that. And you might be thinking, whoa, look at all these colors, but it takes this many colors to layer. Just like if you were painting a picture, you wouldn't just use one green for the tree and have a brown tree trunk and then just green. That looked like a little kid painted it. So it takes more of these layers to create more dimension and more color. And when you mix them, you create your own custom colors too, so that's always fun. Now we're going to do the main part of the eye. And you're going to take your flat brush, and I'm going to take Smut, this kind of reddish color. And I'm just going to pat this down, starting on the outer corner. And just work it in. Go along the line as if you're lining the eye. And then work it in to your crease. And again, just go like if it was liner and out to the corner and we'll start here in the corners and work our way over like so go along the eyeliner line your lash line right there and then we're going to blend that in underneath her eyes it's pretty heavy too so we're just gonna oh man I got black right on the side of my face and okay we won't get that finger near there again now we're going to go right underneath here and just smudge it out because it comes down pretty low. Make sure I don't use And just go right underneath here. And now we're going to go with our black, our famous smolder pencil. It's my favorite black. It's pretty much every makeup artist has this in their kit. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go a little thicker on the outside and then go up towards the top of the eye and right when you meet the top of the eye that's when you're going to try to flatten it out a little and pull it straight, pull your eyelid straight and then just barely do little dots till you make it into the corner and we're going to go over it so if it's a little messy don't worry now once you let go you can see when I stretch it it does that when we go back we're just going to let go of it and gently draw that line out we will go back to this side start with our heavy side over here Go up to the top and then taper, taper and kind of thin it out. And we're also going to line the rims while we got the black out. And again, this is just one of those things that nothing is going to make it stay there all day long. It's just going to be a reapplying like, like you do with lip gloss all day long. You can press your eyes together, do another layer. I do the tops too. It feels weird than you do it on clients. Um, they kind of don't like it, but it looks so pretty. So now that we got this, we're going to add our next layer of dimension. So we have kind of our reddish brown sparkle. Now we're going to add the silvery bluish, which is like night divine. CoverGirl makes a great option for this too. Here's some CoverGirl, CoverGirl brown. This is in, what does this say? Brown something. Brown suede or something. It's a pretty brown. Um, there's another one from Maybelline. It's a pretty one too. I can't find it. I brought it. Oh, here it is. This is a nice red brown. It's Nutmeg from Maybelline. This is a really nice red brown too, and it's pretty cheap. So Nutmeg, and I think this is brown suede or something. And then if you have these CQ cosmetics, like CQ like this, this Bart color is good. And this is a pretty cheap one too. So now we're going to get our silvery color, and we're going to just double check the picture. I'm going to add a little more of this smut. I'm going to go a little bit farther down below. So you want to go out here on the side and then bring it up towards the corner. Do the same out here. Bring it up towards the corner. This finger is just getting dirt everywhere. Okay, now we're going to take our silvery color and we're just going to go right over the red brown that we did. And that's going to give it this really pretty taupey pewtery color, which is what she has in the picture. And just move that around. Then we'll take our silvery color again. And then we're going to go right, highlight it right here in the corner because that's where it looks most silvery on hers. And do that again right here. And it's a really pretty contrast from the cool silvery red to up here where it's a little bit warmer brown. It's a really pretty contrast. So we're just going to go over that again. You can even go back with smut and a little bit of black. Just a tiny, tiny little bit of black. And you're just going to blend, just fuzz this eyeliner line out because hers is so 
soft and blended, you can't really tell where the liner is. So get a little bit of the red brown, dab that on there. Then you're going to dab it right into your black. You're just creating some layers to work with. So as the color rubs off, the red color is going to be smudging around there too. So we'll blend this slightly up into the crease. You really want to soften this whole angle. I just go up a little bit onto the bone right there just to soften this whole look. And it kind of gives a cat eye illusion, which is your shadow. So go slightly. Here's my crease. Then I'm going to go slightly outside. And that's going to give it that really kind of fuzzy, pretty look. Let me take a look at the picture one last time. Okay, so I'm going to take this smut, this reddish brown, dark reddish brown, and I'm going to go right into the corners again, right here, and really smoke that out just a little bit. Now you can take like a pinkier red, um, any kind of cranberry type color. This is called star violet or a cran any kind of cranberry pinky shimmery color. And I'm going to go right over the corners where the crease is right there and just soften that up. So there's a little pink that'll tie it into this crease that's a little more red up here. So do a little pink. That's really... Then this color is going to look really pretty on anybody. So I'm going to take that cranberry kind of red color again and I'm just going to work it right over here to blend just a little bit more. Any cranberry red will work. So that's our pretty smoky look. You can also go back with the silvery color if you want. These are just extra step with a slightly fluffier brush like this. And then just go right underneath here and just smudge that color out even more. You can do that with the red too. We'll dab a little bit of the redness too. So it just builds a really pretty pewtery color underneath. Now we're going to curl the lashes and you guys know how to do that. And then I'm going to put mascara on and then we'll finish up her face. The rest is pretty fast and simple, so I'll be right back with mascara. Okay, so now we're back. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. This is another color. This is from MAC. It's called Trax. It's kind of like a violety iridescent color. And you can also take your fluffy brush and we're going to get this Trax color. It's like a plum violety iridescent -y something. And we're just going to pull the eye tight and we're just going to work down from the crease. And this is just going to be our last highlight touch that we're going to do. And it's really, go even start in towards the corner and then just get it mostly right here on the top of the lid. Don't go up into this bone where we worked all that pretty red color. You can also blend this a little bit under the eye. And just all these extra layers are going to add so many dimensions. Okay, so there's pretty much our smoky eye. We can even add, if you wanted, you could also add this Trax color up here too for a more iridescent look. And I'm just showing you, because the main look that you want to concentrate on is you're going to shade this up here across and then up. So it's kind of going to do an S swirl. Up, down, and up again. And that's going to give you the illusion of that same look that her eye has. We're going to do that over here on this side just so we look well balanced. And I'll show you guys again. So up here, over, and then sweep it up on the outer corner. So up, across, and down, and up. And it's a really pretty kind of, kind of a glam goth look. Now her mouth is pretty much like a Kind of like a just nude, paley mouth. This is from Sephora, this lip liner. It is number 135. It's just a pretty nude pinky color. So we're just going to line our lips in this. And it's just kind of a pale pinky color. And in the picture, her mouth just looks really pale and kind of not, not too much color going on. If you want to take a gloss, this uh, Flora... Let's see, Floor Abundance. This is Viva Glam 6, the special edition color. It's kind of like a pinky, pinky peachy rosy color. And we'll just put that on for a little moisture on there. Um, her cheeks really don't have too much color. You can just do a wash with this dandelion color. And again, my coloring is different than hers. So these are the same eye colors adapted, but um, my face color and other features are the same. But basically, this is the same eye color. So we're going to dust this pink. And this is really sheer. It doesn't even really add a color unless you're in the light and you can see a person up close. It's really just a sheer light wash of pink. And then um, her eyebrows are a little dark. You can do that kind of any, any color. I like Cork from MAC. It's one of my favorites for a brown eyebrow. So we'll just do that really quickly. Straight across. And her eyebrows go pretty much straight up. 
and they pretty much go straight over to the side. Um, but you can only adjust your eyebrow shape so much before drawing way outside the line looks totally not like your own face. So we'll do this all the way across really fast. And then here's your super fast Kristen Stewart um, Twilight makeup look. Keep all your requests coming, guys. Comment in my blog and go there and you can check out the other pictures that I have. So here's your fun kind of um, glam, gothy eye look. And I really like it. This will look good on everybody from light, pale skin to darker tone skin. All the, the so many different colors are in the eyeshadow look. It's going to look beautiful on everybody. So have a great day, guys, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.